Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my uh, vlog. Today I want to talk about how hard it is to find a job in London. Actually how hard it is to find your first job in London. But before we get into that uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching the other videos as well. If you do like uh, videos like this please like it and share your comments. Uh, I, would, I would like to hear what, what your thoughts are. Uh, and obviously do subscribe if you want to see more of this um, of my journey in London and just in general how I adapted for working here and living from uh, you know a different city which is quite smaller than London so yeah thank you for that and um, in my experience just to let you know finding a job was hard um, obviously coming from a smaller city with no PhD or bachelor kind of requirement that can guarantee you a better job, um, specifically in a field that you want to you wanna do. Uh, for example, I wanted to get into property, um, sales or lettings, which was quite hard. Um, firstly, because everyone just wants you to have the experience here in UK first and I didn't have any of like UK experience when I came in here so approximately I think it took me about four months of actively applying every single day maybe like more than 50 60 applications a day um, for four months uh, obviously meanwhile I was doing like day-to-day uh, -day jobs where they can hire you just for a day to do like um, uh, light construction work and you know like painting and stuff I also worked in a nightclub for, for a short while while I was looking for the jobs um, so this is obviously something that was paying the bills um, and it's quite hard because you are still kind of adapting to a new environment um, it's totally different it's it's very overwhelming when you when you come from a smaller city uh, where you pretty much know most of the people and how everything works going into a bigger city where you don't know anyone and basically you're trying to to get a job um, that you're not pretty much qualified for and there is like loads of competition so that that was quite a fun process and um, I would definitely say the interviews themselves would, would help a lot um, I must say I got a lot of experience just from going to uh, an interview and then the next one then the next one then the next one you you get a bit of knowledge on every single interview um, so I think I go about maybe 10 interviews before I get my actual first job uh, which was for a smaller company um, that was doing sales and uh, not letting it's just sales so it's uh, it's quite a tough process and um, there are some um, things that are related to it once you get your first job at the start when you come here the living cost which is related to it and how you travel to work as well and what you do in your spare time these are very important bits uh, in my experience in, it took me about I'd say maybe two years of like living very low on, on the expenses so you, you would just kind of work hard don't do much you would try to cycle I'll get on this point again it's very important to cycle to work if you can if it's not too far saves you a lot of money and time and keeps you fit pretty much um, and in terms of your free time you you don't really want to ex extend too much you don't want to spend too much and like go out too much and uh, you know you, you just have to kind of keep in mind that it's a, it's a long journey Obviously, in my example, it's different. Um, if you do come from a, a a different background or another capital, like a, a big city like Sydney or New York or, I don't know, like Washington, D.C. It doesn't have to be like capital, I mean, but any other big city which is similar to London, it's different. You, you can probably do these things. And if you come for a high-end job, a specific job, and you're backed up by a PhD or something and... You know, it's it's a totally different scenario. But if if you're like um, coming here for like finding an opportunity and looking for that better life, and kind of figure it out style, um, it's it's definitely more relatable to my my case. So, if you are 
one of these guys or, or girls um, pay attention to the early two years start when, when, you, when you do this and make sure you are planning every single step as much as you can. Um, the living cost is quite expensive if you want to you know, do all the normal stuff. And obviously there is a lot of fun things to do in London. So your money just goes like that. Um, but yeah, if, if you do manage these things um, after like three or four years time, obviously I've been here like four years now. And it, I would say like now I'm quite comfortable, but in the first three years, you just really need to plan everything, work hard and uh, be very focused on these things. Uh, again, if you can cycle to work, it's probably the best thing you can do in London um, because it saves you a ton of money, keeps you fit and it's like the best way to get to work. Again, um, I was afraid to start cycling here um, for about two and a half years because obviously the driving side is different from um, everywhere else. And you, you think like, oh my God, my, maybe a car will hit me or something. I'm not used to this, but then it's not actually that hard once you do it. So definitely the sooner you do it, the better. Um, and I hope some of these points help. Uh, maybe it's not like fully complete this video maybe I'll do another part of it but please do let me know your thoughts are on getting a job in London and if you have any questions uh, in, in regards to this I'm, I'm happy to you know share share my thoughts in the comments as well so um, if you like this video again like it please on the button and subscribe I'll see you all next week thank you